What's up guys, my name is Tom and today we're going to be going over how to use the TCP dump feature on the GE MDS Orbit platform. Alright, let's get into it. Many of you may not know what I mean when I say TCP dump or Wireshark capture. Uh, both are basically traffic captures that allow you to analyze the data flowing through the device, um, you know, over the air or via Ethernet ports or cellular interface, you know, what, what have you. Um, Wireshark is commonly used on PCs, where TCP dump is more commonly used on Linux-based devices. Uh, the GEMDS Orbit platform uses TCP dump to capture packets on any interface. Uh, from there, you can export the results as a PCAP file, and then you can open it from Wireshark on your PC. In the past, this functionality was only supported on the command line interface. However, with the latest release, uh, so anything greater than or equal to 764 or 765, um, you can now create and export the captures via the web UI, which makes it much easier than it used to be. Uh, so let's dive in and go through some examples. And um, I'll put the commands that we use uh, on the CLI down in the comments or the uh, description of the video below. Uh, so let's get started. So let's log into the radio. And what you want to do is go to system and then troubleshooting. And then you'll see the actions tab here. And at the very bottom, you'll see generate captures. So you see start and stop, and then you know list of active captures. Obviously, we're just starting, so we don't have any. So let's hit start capture, and we'll select the type. We've got two different options here. You've got create serial capture and create network capture. I'm going to cover the serial capture, or serial dump as it used to be called, in another video. So for now, we're just going to focus on the network capture, or TCP dump. Here you'll give it a name. So let's just, for our example, let's say um, that we're just capturing on the bridge. So we'll call it um, bridge capture. As you can see, I had some earlier. Um, then you hit the select interfaces. Uh, you've got bridge on this one, cell, eth1, eth2, and nx radio. So as I mentioned earlier, you can do a capture from any of the interfaces uh, on the GEMDS Orbit platform. For this example, we're just going to use the bridge. So that's all the traffic between the Ethernet ports and the NX radio in this case that are flowing. And I'll get into the match expression in a minute. Uh, so we'll skip that for now. And I, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do 60 minutes. I'll just do one minute just for, for sake of time. And this will actually start counting down. It says remaining time because I said one minute and it obviously it's ticked down to 59 seconds. So it's, it's you know, zero minutes and X amount of seconds. So that's, that's normal. So we'll just let this uh, finish. I'll fast forward the video um, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up, you know, after it's done. A few moments later. Okay, now that it's done, let's go over to saved captures. And you can actually see it listed here. So let's hit the export. We'll select it and then select export. We'll just say local file, begin exporting. We'll just hit save. And I'll bring it up over here. So what you'll see uh, and I'm going to just rename this. Uh, at the very end of the file, you to make it easier, just put .pcap. And then you'll be able to double click on it and open it up in, uh, in Wireshark. Now one thing you'll notice is the there's a ton of HTTPS traffic in here. Uh, 443 is the, the port number that's used for that. So let's go back to our example and we'll create another capture. Same thing, create network capture. Uh, we'll say bridge, capture, no HTTPS. Select the bridge again. This time we're gonna say not, so the exclamation mark, port 443. So that's all that means is, all right, give me everything, but not port 443. We'll put in a duration of one minute, hit perform.
And again, I'll fast forward the video here for the sake of time. A few moments later. Okay, now that the active capture is off the list, we can go back to status and we'll just hit the refresh button here. And now you've got the capture uh, without HTTPS for that minute. And you'll, you'll probably notice that the size is a lot smaller too because we've got less packets in here. So let's hit the export button. Uh, make sure you're exporting the correct uh, file name. We'll hit begin, save. And now remember on when, once you download it, just throw .pcap at the end of the file and then you'll be able to open it with Wireshark. And I'll just drag it over here. So here you can see that the port 443 traffic is now gone from the list. So that's a great way to eliminate the traffic that, uh, that you're generating just by viewing the website of getting into the, the, um, you know, the, the capture. The same thing happens on the CLI. So let me bring up an example for the, the CLI here. So you just open PuTTY, we'll SSH into that same device. So that 192.168.1.91, normal admin login. Now here, before you begin the, the TCP dump, you'll have to type unhide debug. Now you can say, if you want to view the interfaces, it'll be TCP dump list. Now these will actually be the interface names under the hood. So you'll have to use a little, you know, um, you know, approximation to see, you know, what, what you think the device is here. Uh, so obviously bridge is BR, so BR0 is the bridge. So let's say TCP dump interface BR0. Now again, this will be the same thing as I did in my first example where we're doing a capture on the bridge, but it's going to include all of our SSH traffic. So watch what happens here. All that craziness is, as you can see, is port 22. So it's, you know, going back and forth. It's the SSH traffic. So it's actually generating more traffic on top of itself. So we don't want to see that because it's, it's, it's useless to us. So let's add the expression um, and then it'll be in double quotes, not port 22. And then now we've gotten, we've gotten rid of the, the SSH traffic. So now we're just seeing the real, uh, the real traffic that, that the bridge is seeing. Uh, and this, like I said earlier, this could be on any interface. Um, another, uh, you know, uh, good command to add here is the command verbose. So you'll see that we're only really seeing the, the layer three information here, but what, what if we want to see the raw hacks? By adding verbose, you'll actually be able to see the actual raw hex that you would see in Wireshark. So that's also uh, a good tool to use. And like I said, you can use it on any interface. Um, there could be different port numbers you're trying to eliminate, uh, or perhaps you actually, instead of eliminating something, maybe you want to see just ICMP, for example. You can type in ICMP, and that'll show you only ICMP traffic. So let's just uh, do a little example there. I'll bring up the command prompt. One dot ninety one, and there's our pings, and that's how you use TCP dump. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.